Da do 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 de do. Da do 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 de do. Da do 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 de do. do. What a do, everybody! What a do! Hi, everybody, how you doing? Oh man, mm -hmm. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happier than a little b thing on a b thing. Ah! I am, I'm so happy to be back. I know a lot of people been asking, wave it, buddy, hey, wave it. Where you been? Well, I have been uh, a guest uh, at the pleasure of the great state of Louisiana in one of their penitentiaries. <laughs> There was a mix-up involving me and uh, some uh, crystal meth. <laughs> I was under the assumption that crystal meth was legal for reptiles. <laughs> uh, apparently I'm wrong. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Wavy, while you were away in jail in Louisiana, you seem to have picked up a kind of weird Scottish accent. Now that is true. <laughs> For my cellmate was none other than the dude from Braveheart. <laughs> Not Mel Gibson, the other one. That I can't remember. He was in jail for uh, other things. And one night, he made me his queen. <laughs> and by that, I mean, you know, we were playing chess. <laughs> oh, no, man, don't get me wrong. I ain't nobody's bitch. <laughs> oh, no. I'm still me. I'm still bad. I'll still <laughs> up. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you something. Fish are not our friends. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but wait a minute, wave, wave, fish have never done anything to me that you know of. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking as well. You're thinking, wave, wave, you are still tripping, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. But I'm feeling fine. It's going to be a great show tonight on Fallon. <laughs> Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. See what's new on Applebee's two for 20 menu. Classics you love and new flavors you'll crave. the most believable cheering I've ever heard. I particularly enjoyed the lady in the front row who was going, hooray. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't really like you. <laughs> but I really like you. <laughs> I want you to undress. <laughs> you too, ladies. say the same old crap every night? Yes, I do. But it's free. Uh, 
You know that behind my smiling, upbeat demeanor, I'm very sad indeed. <laughs> Because <laughs> I get paid to f*** <laughs> around. It's terrible. I know. I know. No, seriously. Seriously, come on, let's get on with the serious business of broadcasting a very important late night show. <laughs> 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 It's a great day for America, everybody. And, and it is a great day. It is a great day uh, for the great state of Florida. They became a state today on this day in 1845. Now, the amazing thing about this is that most of Florida's population was alive to witness it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Florida. I saw something very interesting on the internet today, but I can't tell you about it. <laughs> Instead, I'll talk about this. Look at this, look, look. Some luxury hotel rooms are renting rooms by the hour. I saw that. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Finally, a place to go in the middle of the afternoon to get a little room service. And by room service, um, of course, I mean, you know, knocking the boots, you know, pulling the taffy, uh, poaching the eggs, um, <laughs> bobbing the sagget, uh, <laughs> putting an extra coat of primer on the deck. I think you know what I'm saying. Greg, are you talking about sex? You got it, Sherlock. Yes, I am. <laughs> The article was on MSNBC's website. Now, people say that MSNBC has a liberal slant to it. I don't think that's true. Can I see the article again? Wait a minute. What's that article down in the corner, right there? <laughs> Republicans killed Bambi for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Written down, it must be true. Now, according to the article, anyway, what it says is that swanky hotels in New York and L.A. have started renting out uh, rooms for a few hours during the day. And the hotels say, it, you know, it isn't just for couples, it's for tired shoppers who want to get off their feet for a few hours. <laughs> tired shoppers, eh? Uh, that's right, tired shoppers. And Vaseline is for dry hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the driest hands. <laughs> I think this is for couples, this thing. And it's not for couples that are living with each other. You know, this is not for couples who are like, we live in the same house, well, let's go to a hotel for the afternoon. This is for affairs. <laughs> it's so you don't have to go out and rent and rendezvous and meet French people. It's so you don't have to go out and... <laughs> Have your, you know, do your thing, bob the sagget in a sleazy motel. It's so you don't have to go to a sleazy motel or a car or buy a dumpster behind the supermarket. Or... Well, not everyone likes their ass coated in used coffee grounds. Besides me, of course. Call me Juan Valdez. Anyway, for a small price, what I'm saying, these hotels are selling what they're calling day packages. Uh, and the one in Manhattan includes movies with strawberries and cream. <laughs> like, well, it's, obviously, it's porn. Porn with strawberries and... I don't understand that. I think it started with that movie nine and a half weeks, you know, when it's supposed to be sexy. Mickey Rourke blindfolded Kim Basinger and then rubs her body with strawberries. What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, my missus, that's not sex, that's a fruit salad. That's stupid. <laughs> Mickey Rourke was great in that movie, though. Do we have a picture of Mickey Rourke? There he is. So, uh, I'm talking about... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get punched. Uh, Anyway, I'm talking about hotels, you know, rent by the hour. It's, it's not a good idea, because these rooms are dirty enough as it is. You know, ever seen these tea shows, TV shows? Tea shows, the TV shows. I don't have time for V. They, uh, these TV shows, you know, when they bring in a black light into the hotel room and you, there's stuff everywhere. You know, like in CSI? Yeah. Don't, uh, that's what they do. They bring the thing in and David Caruso's all, Motel 6, more like Motel Sex. <laughs> What do you want from me? It's in the ninth season. <laughs> I know it's but I'm making a fortune. 
<laughs> oh, and it's not. It's the greatest show on TV. Excellent. Oh, CBS cares. Anyway, a lot of hotels. What I'm saying is a lot of hotels uh, do things are, are doing things to make the rooms more sexy. You know, like showers in the middle of the room or mirrors above the bed. I stayed in a hotel recently and there was a mirror above the bed, like right above it. And I woke up and I was like terrified because I was like, oh! There's an out of shape old man glued to the ceiling. Ah! Oh my lord, and he has a massive penis! No kidding. Yeah. The skeleton speaks the truth. A lot of celebrities check into hotels under fake names. I always use a name that nobody would recognize Craig Ferguson. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I have a ritual when I go to a hotel, though. Or I, not have, I suppose I should say had. Because whenever I uh, used to go to a hotel, I would, you know, go into the hotel room, take off my pants and uh, turn on CNN so that uh, I could listen to Larry King. <laughs> it's just something I did in hotels. It, it relaxed me. But now Larry King's retired. What am I going to do? I can't take my pants off and relax to Anderson Cooper. Oh, well, maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. It's commercial break time, uh, Jeff. You know. And what are we selling tonight, Craig? <laughs> the usual, our asses, probably. We're CBS whores. We are. We are. We're, well, we're not CBS whores. We're freelance whores that happen to be working on CBS at the moment. Hot damn! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why, for a nickel more, we'd cross the street and work for. Anyone left? Jeff Probst. We'd work for Jeff Probst? To see if his own network, like Oprah? I love meth. <laughs> yes, I think we knew that. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, more stuff. <laughs> Come out so often. Well, I'll tell you why. If you have a dancing horse, two interns in a horse costume dancing up and down, it fills in a little time. <laughs> a little time that normally in another television show would be taken up with material. <laughs> but we don't have such luxuries here. We've just got a camera and a dream. Is it Jeffrey Peterson? Tweety time, boss man. <laughs> Tweety time, boss man. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Tweety time, right, boss right. man. Play the jingle then. Houston, Texas, uh, Dan says, Hey, Craig, my co-worker prefaces every sentence with, I might be wrong, but, and it drives me nuts. How do I get him to stop? <laughs> Why are you trying to control your co-workers? Anyway, it's quite a nice thing to do to start. I, no, look, I might be wrong, but I think it's a good idea to start sentences like that. I might be wrong, but you sound like a controlling bitch. Meow. All right, this is from Thilo in Stuttgart in Germany. Oh, excellent. I love getting emails from Germany because then I can read them in a German accent and German people love me for it. He's lying. I am not lying. He's lying. I am not lying. He's lying. He's lying. In your pants. Balls. Yeah. All right, Thilo in Stuttgart, Germany says, Hey, Craig. <laughs> I am 
preparing for Moustache March <laughs> by growing a nice beard. But all my female friends tell me it looks terrible. What is your opinion on the subject? <laughs> well, beards can vary from person to person. I'm speaking German if you don't understand me. Everybody. I'm explaining to my German viewer uh, in German, which... Anyways, the thing is with the beards, sometimes the little Van Dyke can look nice. Tiny little moustache doesn't work out for the Germans. <laughs> People may talk. Uh, so I think the best thing is to grow your beard fully and enormously on your face, and then you can hide your sausages in it. In your in beard. Your this is from Matt in Little Shoot in Wisconsin. <laughs> Little Shoot? There's a town called Little Shoot? <laughs> wow, Little Shoot! Uh, Matt's German, and he says he, he lives in Little Shoot now, but he's originally from Stuttgart. <laughs> No, he doesn't. All right, he says, Hey, Craig, I'm currently going to college and I'm stuck living in a dorm room with a roommate that showers once a week and doesn't use deodorant. Should I put up with this? Dude, I'm European. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you're living with a clean freak? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that's kind of nasty, isn't it? Living with somebody that's got body odor. Although sometimes I quite like it. I quite like the smell of people, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, they're gonna... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never done that before on the show, have I? I'll try it again. <laughs> I think I've got a bit of an itchy nose. I'm sorry about that. I know it looks kind of gross, but it's kind of itching me, my nose. Do you know when you get an itchy nose, it means you're going to be angry, which is rubbish! <laughs> All right, I know we're, yeah, we're running out of time, but we'll be all right. All right, this is from Trent in High Park in New York. I was once high in a park in New York. It says, hi, Craig, and guest. There's a new drive-in theater that opened nearby. Would that be a nice place to take a, to take a date? No, who would ever do that? That'd be a terrible place. A drive-in movie theatre? What are you going to do, make out? <laughs> There's a drive-in movie theatre. I, I, I've never been to a drive-in movie theatre. I'm not edging, you know, I'm not trying to put myself forward as the person you should take on a date to the drive-in movie theatre. I am available, actually. <laughs> what kind of movies do you see at drive-in movie theatres? Horror movies, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I like horror movies, especially stuff with zombies. <laughs> I like zombies. I like big, stiff men. What can I tell you? In your bed. Knock it off! <laughs> so, it's a commercial break time. Have a look at these commercials of the future. <laughs> the show where March is going crazy. <laughs> what am I doing? Marching. <laughs> My first guest tonight stars in Beastly, which is in theaters March the 4th. Take a look at this. My dad always said how much people like you is directly proportional to what you look like. But they hated me. High school unquestionably sucks ass. You went to regular school? At 15, my friends lost their virginity. I lost my sight. <laughs> Hot damn! Yay! Please welcome the lovely Neil Patrick Harris, everyone. Craigie Spurg has a 
I breathe and live. I, you know what? I know that you're only here because you've got very young children and this is a break from the normal routine, isn't it? That's true, oh, yes. Oh, my Lord. Can I, can I just say before we get deeply into this baby talk? Okay. What a hilarious clip that was. It was a pretty funny clip. <laughs> Is it, is it a comedy? I was fat, just doubled over with well, laughter. I gotta say, when I watched that, I thought, mm, this is gonna be awkward. It, it's I a felt comedy. The real sense just... of and. Yeah. It's a comedy, though. Uh, not really. It's sort of like a. Well, it's like a twilighty version of the Beauty and the Beast movie. Hey, no. Story tale. Hey, that that'll do well. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, are there vampires in it? Um, no. You're... I got a map. <laughs> Right. No, no, you'll be fine. That's great. So it's Beauty and the Beast, but you play the Beast's blind friend? Well, because he uh, was once gorgeous high school uh, guy who gets uh, the hex and turned into that sort of balding, tattooed kind of guy, oh, right. he's sent away but that's and what I'm... the kids love. You should have seen him before. Ah. And uh, so uh, they, they, they hire, his dad hires a blind tutor so he can't sort of see his, uh, his uh, ugliness. Really? So I'm sort of, in, I'm sort of the, uh, the Lumiere. All right. Do you sing? Be my guest, be my guest. I didn't run around with lit candles on my head. Oh, that's, I love that. You know, that, was, that came out just after I got sober. I came out of rehab. I saw that movie. I went, I am still high. <laughs> Uh, did you go and see Beauty and the Beast when it was on Broadway? I did. It was good, wasn't it? I actually saw a preview of Beauty and the Beast when it was just, it was, uh, it was, it was a giant show that was about to open, big advance right. and hard to get a ticket. And I was walking down the street and it hadn't opened yet. And I was only in New York for like a, a week to see 10 shows or something because right. I lived in L.A. And uh, a, a, a woman was there smoking a cigarette outside and she said, hey. You want to come in and watch the, the dress rehearsal? I was like, fantastic. That happens to me outside sex clubs. <laughs> and what do you say? Okay. <laughs> well, so did I. Yeah. And I went in, and I had sex with this woman. What? No. No. Because I, <laughs> I was like, there's a story, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. I went in, and I sat in the back, and I watched, like, the second half of Beauty and the Beast with no audience. It was one of those really cool uh, things, but um, Gaston, the guy playing Gaston, was yes. fighting the Beast in the big climactic final battle where the right. set's moving around, and Gaston's chasing the Beast, and they're jumping around, and they're fighting, and, and because it's a dress rehearsal, you know, things go wrong, and the set's, like, past each other, and Gaston couldn't quite make it in time, and in the big Disney theater, he said, ah, oh, ooh la la! <gasps> You know that. <laughs> oh dear. You cuss like a sailor. I do a little bit, yeah. But I just thought it was a fantastic moment that it I got is, to see in a, in a yeah. Disney musical Gaston say the Friday. Yeah. <laughs> well, now they know what it was, at least, anyway. <laughs> right. Oh, right. they might beat that. Right. No, they, they the might. Beat so are you doing okay with the twins then? Never know, right? What age are they? Four months? They're, they're four months, uh, yeah, a little over four months. See, I've only got one who's like a month old now. Oh, congrats to you. Thank that, you very much. But that's one. I can't imagine doubling up on that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Double the pleasure, double the fun. Really? Is it? Uh, no, man. Because they don't, anyone I've talked to has got twins, but they say they don't go at the same time. It's not like time for poop, both go, time for crying, both go. It's just like, it's like a rotation shift thing they're on. Well, sort of. I mean, t seriously, if, you're, if you have one kid, you can decide whether you're going to put them on a schedule or whether you're just going to feed them on demand and when, let them sleep when they want to and wake when they do. But when right. you have twins, you really do need to get them kind of on schedules so that right. they, they eat every three hours and we try and stagger them for like... 35, 40 minutes so that one, because if they're both going at the same time, it's kind of chaos. Have you got your name down for schools yet and stuff? That has to happen early. No, yeah, you, you should actually do it before they're born. <laughs> Why is that? I came from a small town in New Mexico where there was a school and you went to school. <laughs> Now here in that's, LA, that's you not have, how it works, man. You have to you know. <laughs> like, no, no, no. you have to pay forty grand to go to pre preschool. Yeah, yeah. And, that's a, and, a, and they say to you, you know, between six months and a year, that's the crucial academic period <laughs> in the child's life. You get, <laughs> you get the wrong tuition, then forget it. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What's your your son's name is? Liam. Me, well, I've got Milo and Liam. I have two boys. My name, spelled backwards, is Leon. <laughs> my name, 
My name, spelt backwards, is Greek. <laughs> but, but, it, an anagram of my name, which I'm very proud of, is Cougar Fingers. <laughs> it really is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. It really is good. Do you have any uh, anagrams oh, of your name? Let me you think. can have Cougar Fingers, but it just won't work. No, I will. I, I, there did used to be one. Yeah. Um, Neil Patrick, an anagram for Neil Patrick is Pickle Train. Pickle Train? <laughs> Pickle Train's good. It sounds a bit like a folk band. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris and Pickle Train. Or the name of the sex club you were asked to go ah, into. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was actually called Cougar Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, how are things going on the CBS, the big uh, hit sitcom thing? Is that going all right? We're very blessed on the How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, no, it's a good show. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Having fun. You watch it? Nah. Hmm. You watch this show? Ish. <laughs> when you're on? <laughs> when I'm on. When you're on, yeah, yeah. I DVR it when I'm on. Here I am. And the next one, just in case you do talk yeah, about Yeah, in case I talk about one. you afterwards. <laughs> ah, you know the game then. You should do, you know, if you ever, if you ever get tired of doing the, the shows, you should do a talk show. You'd be fantastic. I would love to eventually. You should. You, you know what I want to do one. is a big, um, I want to do like a variety show. With all, like an Ed Sullivan y kind of show with all the uh, variety acts. The well, how many variety acts are? Huh? Well, yes. Now, that I see think now, great. you say that, but you're a very small, misinformed group. <laughs> how so? Well, because variety shows very rarely work on why? television. I don't know why. I'll tell you why. Because okay. the variety acts, they give them like six and a half minutes. So they'd have their best, you know best act bit that they do but they fill it up with like filler like if you have a juggler he ends with like juggling nine swords but he right. starts with three three balls and then he go yeah balls <laughs> come on i'm trying to tell a story here. yeah i yeah, know knock it off jeff oh he did all right then good <laughs> so my uh, my pitch is that you do like um, more acts but just to uh, cut out the chuffa just have the good stuff in the middle just have the good the good acts doing the good stuff. Here's a here's a guy eating a glass uh, light bulb. Da -da 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 and then hey, here's a cat on a tightrope. No, rope. but people are ba -ba 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 people are jaded though. People are jaded now. It's like they YouTube. Want they, they, what? It's like YouTube. You go on and you watch. You can't stop. If you were watching two people on a little platform on roller skates in the sex around. club, I saw that in the sex club. Cougar <laughs> With... fingers. That's their big finisher. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you want to watch that yeah, on the I show? Want to watch that, yeah, yeah. So there you go. No, I, I think that well, you'd be good at that, but I, like I, I don't know how many variety acts there are out there now. I mean, uh, you know, the, the in the days of vaudeville, there was you know performing oysters and cats that wore hats and all that stuff. But now they've got to still be around. No, man, it's just all stand-up comedians who are all fat and hate everything. <laughs> But Which I, I like, I gotta admit, but still. That's that's seventy-five percent of your show. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> well that's what I'm saying. What though. about Magic Week? Why are we shouting at each other? I don't know. I think it's, <laughs> a, it's a kind of Regis thing. Yeah, you know, it is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kinda start yeah. shouting and you oh. don't know why. On Magic just, Week, Magic Week, Magic Week! Magic this week. every day. Yeah, yeah. And clearly, that's a successful week for you, Magic Week. Magic Week, the, the numbers are always very big on Magic Week. <laughs> Whenever we do Magic Week, the other late night shows quake. Yeah, they quake. They quake. Uh, yeah, they're like, oh no, Ferguson's doing Magic Week. We have to book Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> and still nothing. And still nothing. <laughs> still nothing. No. I, I. Well, see, I love all of that stuff, but I wonder if today's TV audience are going to accept it. Even from you, Neil. Even from you, actually, NPH. Well, I don't have a show that does it, so I have yeah. no idea. Are you still Who on do you the think? Yeah, yeah I tweet. Twitter? I tweet a lot. Well, I don't tweet a lot anymore. Well, I, I've been because I follow you. You tweet under. marvelously, no. and you, you're new into it, so you tweet all the time, and you still have the veneers there. You still no, love no, it. No, no, no. So I've been doing it for a year, and I haven't tweeted in a while. I, really? Yeah. Well, I, what I started doing is that I noticed that because Twitter is like a big chat room, yeah. that occasionally people will say mean things to you, and then I go in a huff and I don't do it. I don't look at it for a month. <laughs> I'm very sensitive, surprisingly so, aren't you? No. <laughs> No, there's certain actors and, and, and uh, performers that don't read any reviews and don't read any oh, stuff no, I read, about them. I only them. read the good ones. I think the more knowledge, the more information, the better. And then it's up to me to decide what I want to choose to believe or do with it. So mm. the, re the really, really good stuff I, I don't acknowledge and the really, really horrible stuff I don't really acknowledge either. I just kind of... Yeah, I just kind of like to see. Sane. I kind of no, but I like I like to see where the pendulum's sh shifting because you can get a gauge with like on Twitter if you say something whether a majority of the people think that that was lame and awful or 
or whether it was hilarious and funny. So you can, you know, there's going to be diff differences between them. But yeah, but I kind of know everything I do is lame and awful, and anything that, <laughs> and anything that I have is lame and awful is for here. <laughs> I just always liked Twitter because I thought it was going to be like 50 of my friends and I could tweet funny things to, to them, but now there's, there's more followers than that, and so I get in trouble. I say things off the cuff, and then I, then I have to Well, I'm glad you didn't have it when I was drinking. Yeah. Oh, wow. Drunk Twitter. Drunk Twitter, yeah. <laughs> you ever done that? Uh, yeah, but not with the, no, uh, the Twitter. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, no. Not night in cougar fingers. That was yeah. delicious. Well, we're out of time. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, it went fast. I didn't even get to see the testicle. Oh, you can you can see it. Or, or you I didn't even get to dance festival. with the with the we guys. We can do all. Of, we get plenty of time so from that. All right, all right. One Who's out at the door? Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Quickly, we've got to get through. That's all right, enough. that's enough. Uh, sorry. Just love that every time. Yeah. Um, I have to say, thing? though, I saw a gentleman over there who was dancing like that, which is completely, <laughs> completely the wrong way that's to do it. That's the Macarena. Yeah, sorry. that's a, that's the speed bag. Oh, talking of which, here are the kangaroo testicles oh that you wanted God. to see. Yeah, yeah. Look, I drew a face on them so they're non-threatening. Don't smell them. They're like, they're like, it's like the Outback. Oh, dear. Yeah. Recognize these Australian lesbians? Probably not. They're back. They were on last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah. Well, they, they, had, su they had such a good time. <laughs> hey, you smug bastard. Can you play? giving out the golden harmonica for good bluffing. I played a harmonica in uh, Assassins on Broadway. Is that a restaurant? <laughs> oh, it was a musical uh -oh. called Assassins on Broadway. <laughs> Every night. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> He's actually good. He can play right off the golden harmonica. Three things. She had a nice face, her booty was in place, but Barney, don't chase. No. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Barney, you know what? Here's some advice. <laughs> totally. TV debut here to perform only for you from their latest album, Sacred for Sale. Please welcome Tomorrow's Bad Seeds, everybody. Tomorrow's Bad Seeds.
If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Ladies, please state your name for the American audience. I'm Sheree. I'm Sheree. I'm Larissa. Sheree and Larissa. Where are you from, my little friends? We're from Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia, where the show goes out, you know. It does go out, yes. Look, you've got to stop coming to the show, all right? <laughs> You're here every week, and you, you sit in lesbian row. You're not even lesbians. Are you even sisters? Are you even Australian? We're Australian. You're definitely Australian? Yeah. Definitely. What's your last name? Oh, my, my last name's Jones. Jones? Okay. <laughs> oh, Jones! Jones. Oh, J Jones. Yeah, all right. Is your last name Jones as well? No. Oh, so you're not sisters? I've got the same mum. Oh, okay. Well, that's sisters, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you just visiting then here? Mm -hmm. mm. You've been here for a while, though, because you were here last week, and then you're here. Apparently. <laughs> what, uh, what uh, other parts of America are you going to go see? Um, New York. You should go to see Jimmy Fallon. He's very good. <laughs> very good. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> no, you, you should really. Okay. Jimmy, you should have them on. <laughs> they helped my ratings. <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night. Guys.